Genesis, but man, what a great pickup. What yes. a stellar member of the community. Very, very talented since day one. Even day in the Smash 4 era, you know, he was just so strong. And he continues to be, a, you know, just such a dominating player. So right now we're going to go into game one, I believe. Going on, of course, for Stadium. And he is rocking the Bayonetta, a character that you don't see as often anymore. But That's right. This character obviously still has some very useful tools. And I learned that the hard way by playing you and Friendlies when we were in Oakland. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Still can't yeah. sleep on the Umber with. But, yep. no, you know, the great thing about this is that, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know that Sensor actually has a multitude of other characters in his arsenal. Yeah. He got he plays um, some ZSS, too. ZSS was really clean. Yep. I got to see that back in Smash 4. And, of course, the Bayonetta, too, is, is certainly coming out here to show its stuff. I mean, I think, to be honest, if you... I feel like there's a trinity of characters. Most people, if you are playing a Bayo or a Peach, like you main that character, yeah. you probably got a you got the two other characters. Mm -hmm. If you're playing Bayo, you probably got a Peach, you probably got a Zero Suit. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're playing Peach, you probably got somewhat of a Bayo, and you probably got a Zero Suit. Like, this is how it works. That's right, we man. Try them, so. That's right. We don't make the rules, of course, so we just follow them around here. You know we what I'm saying? Them, man. All right, now. With this in mind, my man Zachary definitely looking to follow Sensor off stage, and I don't blame him. You know, even though Bayonet is still a, a strong threat out there, and she has a lot of great tools, obviously, to come back to the stage, too, whether right. it's, like, afterburner kick right off the ledge, or she can use, like, um, bats within to give herself coverage. You still have to respect those aerial hitboxes that Ivy Sword brings to the table. Oh, absolutely, Jeez. man. Scratch. Yeah, beautiful stuff there with that fair from Charizard. Yeah, one of the things that uh, Bayonetta will have problems with still is now those hitboxes are a lot smaller, so when she does go for her, her ABK mm -hmm. you know, to, to make a recovery, then a lot of times you can go and hit her. Even when she does her wish switch, it doesn't actually auto snap now. Oh my goodness. We got Daisy on the field, and we already know everyone is probably in the chat round thinking to themselves, should this be legal? Right. Of course, we're having it, uh, the Echoes that are probably the closest out of uh, any of the Echoes in the game. Mm -hmm. We're looking at, of course, Daisy and Peach. You know, obviously, uh, up until here recently, people wasn't really quite sure what the glaring difference this was. And to be real, the difference really isn't that glaring. You know, it's something very small and minuscule, and it, um, I, I believe it's the turnups, you know, and the knockback versus damage and so on and so forth. So, yes, so it's the uh, turnups, and then also, too, it is uh, when there's, there's a, a sound cue that is not there for uh, the Bob Daisy bomb. And so that's also key as well. That's right. Wait a minute. Dash attack. Okay. A lot of meaty percent right here. Okay, and I like that. You know, even though Roy's not the best character, uh, you know, for going off stage, I like the fact that Zachary is still at least showing himself. He's letting him know, obviously, you're not going to be able to just come back on my stage for Scott Free. Well, absolutely. This character is definitely oh. some stuff off stage. Very uh, strong hitting character. So, of course, if you're near the blast zone, mm -hmm. best believe you're going to feel it. Can we talk about how smart that was for him to go for forwarder so he could hit the turn up? Because had he just ate the turn up like how most uh, players would have, he would have been dead. Oh, yeah, that's a wrap. Okay. So the wait, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Good space in there. Now, had it been Martin Lucina, he probably would have been able to get back on stage a little bit better. But unfortunately, just right there, man, he was he was cooked. Yep, no, absolutely. And the thing is so beautiful because that's a kind of punish that you will only really see from a character like a Peach and Daisy. Mm -hmm. Being able to actually float back and utilize that micro spacing in the situation. But most characters would wouldn't be able to uh, pull in in that time because of that range, you know, dealing with that nair. So really good stuff there. Mm -hmm. But now we got down to the wire. We got the hero of subspace. That's right, man. Young Robert. That's right, man. Don't call, the, don't call it a comeback, man. He's back. Oh, my goodness. But he's getting a little taste of his own medicine right here. Yep. Okay, looking to play the space in game. I like that. You know, the main objective when you fight against a character like Peach is to try to outrange her and keep her out. Once she gets in, especially on a character like Rob, who's very easy to combo, it's going to take a lot of percent. Yeah, beautiful pressure there with those down tilts. Here we go. Get a bear here. Sam Sword, but Sam Sword's going to kind of in the road front or roll back to get that stage control. Mm, not good here. No, not yet. Okay, 5% differential between both these two players. Immaculate air dies there to out range the up air there from Rob, man. Absolutely. Oh, so eat your veggies. Uh-oh. Eat your veggies. No hitbox, not recovery, man. He's looking hungry, man. Oh, oh down tilt. Looking for a double jump. Come on, man. Zachary is moving. He is. Oh, wait a minute. No oh. way. Oh, with the grab. I understand what he's going for. With two grabs in a row, he might have showed his hand too early. <laughs> and I love... Don't press the button. I love the presence of mind right there from Sam Story. He's like, where is that gyro? Mm -hmm. So he just saw how he stepped back a little in that kind of situation. And that allowed Zachary some space. Get him with the nair. That's not going to kill just yet. Okay, hanging on for dear life. Snaps the ledge. Smart stuff. Ledge. You got to watch how you recover with Peach and Daisy sometimes. Sometimes they might float above it. No grab. Oh, what a what the? What up? What up the fair. Oh, he's coming for you. Okay, snaps the ledge. And wait a oh does he get it? Oh my goodness! Oh, the oh, microspace! You are wow. gonna get crowned, good sword. <laughs> mm. Oh so man! Rough. Wow. The biggest takeaway from that match is like, damn, these guys can do it all with any character. 
I didn't even know that Zach Ray played a Rob at that level. Oh, I mean, yeah. obviously, to be talented, you can pretty much you pretty much have a vast understanding True. of all the characters in the game. True. But man, his Rob was looking like some day one stuff. All right, that was that was some really smart gameplay right there. Yeah, it, was, it was really good. It was really good. You think that? Uh, I'm very surprised that we didn't really see uh, <laughs> some of the other characters come out. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we saw the Roy come out. Yep. I'm glad now we see the Wario in deck. Uh, it looks like he's just trying to play around with these other characters. Pokemon and I'm very curious as to why this is the case. Uh, maybe perhaps going into the bracket, he knows that Sam Sword is a threat. Maybe mm -hmm. he doesn't want to pull out that character right now. That could be. You that know? could certainly be you the case. I mean? Yes. So yes. You can uh, sacrifice the the battle just to make sure you you win that war. That's right, right man. We got to think about the bigger picture here. Squad Strike, obviously, certainly something that's uh, you know on everybody's mind. Very Absolutely. fun. Uh, I guess depending on how you look at it, side of it, even though there's like six thousand people watching this yeah, right yeah. now. Uh, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's all about single. So maybe he just doesn't want to bust that wolf out too early. True. Or the Galaxy Brain play. I can't even speak right now. Man. Galaxy Brain play. Mm -hmm. All right. My man is trying to check out these other characters because he knows. <laughs> My man, uh, Mr. O'Connell, man. That guy is going to get whacked. That's right. <laughs> He's about to get nerfed. Talk about that wolf. That's man. right, man. He's about to get nerfed. He's, I'm breaking know. up. I'm breaking up with him right now, man. Yep. So to ease the pain. Cutting ties. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf oh. is getting ghosted right now. Oh, my God. His war is almost a ghost, too, though, yeah. man. Okay, gets back onto the stage. Burns the bike a little bit too early. And I like this. You know, we understand that one of the biggest differences about Bayonetta is the sliding hill kick. And the fact that Sam Sora knows the right distance to use it to where it always connects is some really, really smart stuff. Yeah. Because, you know, if, if it just hits on shield, then it doesn't, like, you get the first kick, but you don't get the second kick. And a character like Wario is going to grab you immediately, and you're going to take a lot of unnecessary percent. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good bears. Pulled out that stock. Bayonetta is going to be out of there. And this is kind of the problem. Bayonetta is definitely going to be a character initially when you look at Squad Strike. Mm -hmm. Very damage based character. You know that you usually get some decent damage, especially if people are unfamiliar with kind of uh, being able to actually die out of her conversions. That's right. But she's always going to have a problem killing. And so usually this is kind of the situation what you're going to see. So hopefully Sam Sword can actually stop this bleeding right now with this one. You know, and even though uh, you know the Wario and Bayonetta match, I'm sure is very different. One thing to kind of take into consideration, at least in Squad Strike, is that yeah. you know Bayonetta might not be the like the strongest offensively sound character. I mean, of course, he's going to put on damage stops, right. obviously, or a different story. Yeah. But I think just when it comes to punishing bad, uh, you know, recoveries, I think that she can still do that, especially oh, for absolutely. a character like Wario. You know, but you know, we just didn't quite see that. You know, typically in in the past, we would see like. Bayonetta used like bullet climax to keep Wario on the bike separator yep. just to kind of keep Wario at bay. But you know, I since mean, Sam Sword just on. has can this. We talk, can we talk about that lag? Yo, that lag switch from Robert? Yeah. I'm telling you, man, Rob can't be trusted. He cannot, man. Look my, at him. My boy Roberto. 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 Man. Never to be oh. trusted. Okay. All right. You know, we've seen this matchup in the, in the end of the last game here. Percent's obviously spelling a different story. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought he was definitely expecting that to connect. Yeah. He wanted to throw right out of that. Okay, some good ledge pressure, but goes for the double down right. tip. Yep. I love it. Yes, chase this man. That's an assembly line right there. That's right, man. Okay, oh, nice. Okay, goes for like the pivot right there, right into the forward air. A little off the mark. Sam Sora still playing very smart. Looks for the grab, shows it. Oh, my Ooh. God. Goes for the up smash too early. This could cost me. Yeah. Good landing there. You can get back to chase. Now he's after the chase. Good fair reversal again. Similar situation here. Now he's going to utilize the slope. It's not getting him with the up air and the landing. Good dare. Reversal right there. Sam oh, But no. you know what's going to happen, man. The pile driver, the tombstone, man. That's right, man. Dig and Grace. My boy Roberto, Dig and Grace. Yep. This, this is why you can't trust him. Undertaker, baby. It's crazy, man. I, and it seemed like in that last game, he was really fishing for those grabs, too, man. And, uh, you know, when they didn't uh, quite work out his way, it kind of left him in a really odd spot. Right now, obviously, he's playing a little bit more closer to the chest. I like it. Okay, but Daisy's right here. Obviously, still not too far from Peach. Still has some of the same tools in uh, terms of punishing bad recovery Absolutely. or bad options off the ledge, bam. Good stuff. Yep, and now we're going down to the wire. You already know, starting off fresh the Squirtle. Gonna do a good, decent amount of damage here. Mm -hmm. Oh, good support though, very interesting. Not an up throw or a down throw, if that matters. Trying to get some kind of a conversion, or at least set himself up for a 50-50 situation. That was spicy. Oh, we're going up. Oh, we're going up. Oh, we're going up. Oh, we're going up. Good, sir. Damn, you look at Zachary. He's oh, laughing. Yeah, He's laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, welcome to the fields. <laughs> <laughs> you out here feeding vegetables. Eat your veggies, man. That's right. Well, veggies fight back. That's right. Part Pluck, two. Plucking pluck turnips, man. You ever plucked the Ivysaur? Yep. Plucks. Wow, good stuff right there, man. To so my man, Zachary. The media switch over to Squirtle, man. I was actually kind of uh, 
you know, sometimes at, at the lower percent, you see the, the Squirtle stab just a little bit longer, obviously, to put on that, that small damage. And then, like, when the percents get right, you know, you can smell that percent cooking. Then we switch over to Ivysaur and Charizard. He was like, nah, man, we out. Squirtle's not cutting it. Ivysaur's going to get the job done, damn it. Yeah, I mean, again, uh, Squirtle has a, a lot of terrible tools. His movement's really great. His uh, new tool is stellar. Yeah. But, man, Ivysaur, especially right now, especially how uh, the metagame is, Ivysaur just seems to be the move. 99% of the time. And that's just kind of the real thing. Right now, people are still kind of getting themselves into the place where they still need to really figure out how to utilize Squirtle and uh, Charizard to have full capacity. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're also wrapped up in how strong of a character Ivysaur is. Ivysaur is very strong, obviously, with some very glaring weaknesses. The biggest one is like, all right, you know, you hit him out of Vine Whip, you force the Pokemon switch. But that's to say you can get this character off stage. Chances are a high level Ivysaur, top level Ivysaur is controlling the pacing and controlling the meta on stage. Yeah. But after watching Pandaren, a battle of BC3, I really got to say, man, I have a newfound respect for Charizard in this game. I never really liked Charizard, per se, and I, this was back when he was by himself, and even before when he was in like the Pokemon Trainer Trio. But I'm like, you know what, now I see his, I see his role in the meta, and it works. Yeah, he said, look, we ain't picking Wolf Dog. I don't care what, what we talking about. Yep. It, ain't, it ain't coming out, sir. Oh. I, I know we got some uh, left fans in the chat, man. I know they're upset. Hearing good words about Charizard. Yeah. They don't like that, man. <coughs> that that legit has to go. And I was going to go in this now again. One, one. Okay. Go ahead and get right into this. Yep. Okay, as we kick things off, Zachary trying to utilize his tools, using that chomp to try to catch the turnips. Yep. Smart stuff right here, though, by Sam Sora, man, to combo him up and then put him in a little mix-up. You know, sometimes sure. when you're getting comboed at these low percents, you kind of fall up there in between the platform. Yep. You need to know, like, if you're going to fall through it or you're going to actually fall on top. Yep, absolutely. You got some crazy setup from that field, and a lot of characters have that. These platforms are just in a very great position for a lot of people to get uh, an extended conversion drop down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good bears in him off the side of stage, trying to pressure him. Oh, my God, where's my money control? at? Yep, That's absolutely. the pimp slap. Where's Slash. my money? Where you at? Okay. The spacing, nice. Doesn't even allow him to jump. Goes right, uh, oh, right into the dash cool. attack immediately. Well, okay, the pressure, forward. yeah. You gotta respect that. You, know, when you got the ball time for cancel Nairs. No, I believe, uh, what about it? Minus two? Yeah. So, okay. characters, a hard time punishing that. Okay, there, right at the ledge of stage two there to stop him from, uh, stop him from snapping right away. Oh, Let it rip, is. man. Wow. How to shoot? That was funny. Oh wait, the Palutena though. Okay, you're seeing something a little different here. Yeah, you have to follow. I, I like it. I like the idea. I uh, recognize that the Bayonetta Super was not working. Bayonetta wasn't able to pull out the stocks. And you need that. And you need that. Because the thing about it too, is when you are playing Squad Strike, you also got to deal with the fact that you're going to be playing different characters. So a lot of times you don't get that long-term kind of adaptation. Oh yeah, right up on him, man. The Why Fast not? and the Furious. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. The heck? Man. Wow, now that was some that was some smooth stuff right there. But yeah, again, you know, there's obviously there's some glaring differences between you know uh, Palutena and uh, and Bayonetta. But yep. one thing's for sure though, he's playing. You know, there's one or two ways you can play Palutena. You can obviously play Palutena. You know, obviously the long way. We're using a lot of explosive flames, a lot of auto reticles, especially on a character like Wario to keep him out. Or you're going to obviously play the going ham game because you know that Palutena can just combo you for dear life. So absolutely. But absolutely. right now he knows because he's in the deficit. We're going to see a lot of explosive flame yep. there for coverage. Stuff. And yeah, like I'm saying, like, because the thing about it is when you are looking at playing these other characters, yeah, something that, that's rough is that when you have another character coming in, you have to find, figure out all the nuances and all of this stuff as well. These different uh, tactics that you're going to be utilizing. So a lot of times people can kind of hit you with their, their set play. And so if you want to have a character that can take those stocks, because otherwise you got to deal with a whole different set play. And if you don't know, like sometimes you might get mixed up and all of a sudden you're at 80% again on this other stock. You okay. don't want to be in that kind of position. That's right, man. You got to figure out a way to get yourself out the blender. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, short hop in there. Couldn't quite get the combo afterwards. Okay, smart stuff. Using the laser to kind of keep Sam Sora at bay. Oh, the parry right into the down two. Yep. The more? Can we get a couple more? Oh, don't ever whip a grab, <laughs> sir. Oh, man. Okay, got a little too overzealous there with yep. that extension. Those assembly arms. They don't care. That's right. But he, you know, he got that combo in the last game and Wait it worked. Wait a minute. Ooh. Wait a minute. One more. The chase. Oh, up there. Oh, okay. nope. Right back out. That was smart of him to snap the leg because it looked like Zachary landed with the falling up. Oh, oh my no. gosh, that's a slight delay to come out here. Oh, this is a hero subspace, bro. You can't yeah. blow up on him like that. He saved an entire game, man. Yeah. Saved an entire game. Had he not saved that game, there'd be no Smash 4 and Ultimate. He's a true hero. Okay. My man fought Taboo. 
Yeah, man, taboo slap everybody. My too. man sacrificed himself for his people and then got jammed. Yeah. But he still sacrificed himself for his people. Okay. Trying to play in space against Sam Sword. Down to his yeah. final stock here. There's the back here. Yeah, this is smart stuff staying in between Zachary and his tool. The bear, the protect. Oh, throws it back at him. The punish here? No, but he's going to get this ledge. Oh, Robo Lariat. <laughs> Robo Zangi. Yep. And that's going to be out of here. All right, too much booty in the dress. Yep. There we go. The start off. Okay, the Razor Leaf. Yeah, he goes for a fairly safe switch here. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's playing the safe game too. We've seen a lot of just short hop aerials, a lot of get off the options. Not quite, not quite connecting here with the Razor Leaf to get the added damage. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually wondering if that was a missed click right there, and he actually wanted a uh, angle uh, up the in that situation. I think he did. Mm. Right there. Yeah. So that will combo that, uh, out of that uh, pull off there. Okay, B reverse Razor Leaf. We're trying to keep him at bay. Yep, good drift. Sam Sora's not having any of it. I like this though, man. Staying at like a perfectly like spaced out distance away. Like it seems like it's actual it's an actual Pokemon game. Like just there a moment ago, they were yep. standing on both sides of the Pokeball. Oh, absolutely. Get back. I love this. Spacing his bears and drift out of here. Trying to get back with the regular league. And you can see Sam Sora is eager to get in at this point. He knows he's up close. That's really where he's gonna be able to attack on that damage. Mm. Good dare to be safe. Oh no, no way! Oh wow! wow. And he wow. just got wow. away with wow. murder. Wow. 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 Yeah, he knows. He knows because that that was a bait. Wow. Uh, that wow. Man. Look at him. Look at him. who said, bro. Who said the people from the other countries don't pop off, man? Look at this man. This young man is happy. <laughs> All right. We don't.